Bokitov Khabarim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news uh, right now. Uh, this week, I caught this this morning on AOL News here. South Korea, rival Korea's trade artillery fire at the border. Uh, the article here says Seoul, Korea and South Korea's military fired dozens of shells today, uh, Thursday at rival North Korea after the North lobbed a single artillery round at South Korean border town. The South's uh, Defense Ministry said, the ministry said in a statement that its artillery landed at a place where North Korea had fired its shell. There were no other immediate details from the military, but appeared that North Korea uh, did not respond to South Korea's returned fire. Now, that's not as of yet. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Of course, I'm sure North Korea is concerned about the United States backing South Korea and what might happen as a result if they were to get into a battle with South Korea. Anyway, it says about 80 residents in South Korean town were where the shell fell. Uh, Yon Chion were evacuated to underground bunkers and authorities urged other residents to evacuate at Yon Chan official said, requesting anonymity because he wasn't uh, authorized to speak uh, to the media. He said there were no reports of injuries or damage in uh, uh, Yon Chan in the nearby border city of uh, Payu. Residents were asked to stay home, officials said. Uh, North Korea had previously threatened to attack South Korea uh, loudspeakers that have been broadcasting for the first time in 11 years, anti-Pyongyang propaganda messages across their, sh uh, their shared border. Pyongyang also uh, uh, restarted its own loudspeaker aimed at the South. The cross-border propaganda warfare followed accusations from South that Pyongyang had planted landmines on the South Korean side in the de demilitarized, demilitarized zone that maimed two South Korean soldiers last week. Uh, authoritarian uh, North Korea is extremely sensitive to any Christian of the government run by leader Kim Jong-un, whose family has ruled since it was founded in 1948. North Korea's army said previously in a statement that the broadcasts were a declaration of war and that they were not immediately stopped and all-out military action of justice would ensue. Uh, South Korean, Korean President Park uh, Guan uh, Hai urg, urged Pyongyang to wake up from the delusion that it could maintain its government with a pro, pro, uh, provocation and threats. Pyongyang's powerful uh, National Defense Commission had claimed that so uh, Seoul fabricated the evidence on the landmines and demanded video proof. The landmine explosions resulted in another soldier losing both legs and another soldier one leg. Anyway, we wanted to bring this emergency news up to you. Be sure to join in with us live on live stream tonight, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'll, we'll be bringing up the latest news that affects Israel and other things that are going on around the world. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.